Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. Olise, the son of Nobe, is your host uh, as usual. Uh, we give you now a round up, as we promised, of what transpired at the nomination court in Zimbabwe yesterday. You will know that uh, following recalls of uh, 23 representatives of this mainstream opposition that is the citizens coalition for change by Sengezo Chabangu who claims to be the secretary general of the party the president uh, Mr Emerson Nangakwa declared the 7th of November as the day on which the nomination court is supposed to sit and the 9th of December as the day on which the by elections will be held in those 23 constituencies which include uh, parliament uh, they include the senate and local government uh, constituencies where councillors have to be voted in so the nomination court set uh, as declared by the president yesterday that is tuesday the 7th of november and now what we are gathering is that more than 30 candidates uh, successfully filed their papers for the nine national assembly seats that is the lower house of uh, of parliament that is the parliament uh, that is the lower house uh, yes so these uh, nine national assembly seats are all in Bulawayo Matebelele North Harare and Matebelele in South provinces so there will be 30 people in total contesting for the nine uh, national assembly seats that is nine mps so um we will go down uh, and tell you where exactly these are but a worrying uh, incident is that there are several areas where triple c uh, members uh, filed papers as double candidates and we believe that uh, this is uh, going to hold sway uh, and tilt the scales in favor of president Mnangagwa's ruling zanu pf party and there are areas where having recalled members chabang then failed to field the candidates but the triple c members that were recalled by him managed to resubmit their papers under the same name of the party and there are areas several other areas where they are especially in bulawayo and Matipelele North, where there are double candidates, both uh, each of them claiming to be uh, representing Triple C. Um, so these are the candidates who successfully filed their nomination papers. In Bulawayo South, there is Raj Moti of Zanu PF, who is a former member of parliament for the constituency. Uh, he will contest against triple c double candidates that are james sitole and nicola jane watson who was uh, the mp until his recall by uh Chabang a few weeks ago in country park there is arthur mojay of zanu pf he will contest again against triple c double candidates uh pasho rafael sibanda we had one the seat in August, and Vusumu Zichirwa, who was seconded by Chabangu. In Lopengula Makwekwe, Menzi Wedube of Zano PF will contest against Eric Kono of Triple C, who was recalled by Chabangu, and Tendai Nyati, who is seconded by Chabangu. In Popo Mamziligazi, Zano PF's Kamamba Tsingai will contest against two triple c candidates that is desmond makaza and charles moyo then there is blessing sibanda of dop and Paton tafumane who is going to stand as an independent having previously been a, a triple c member who says that his hopes uh, put paid to party scruples that happened before uh, the first uh, election in Keta there is albert mavunga of zanu pf who is going to contest against opet manduna of triple c and ambrose cvd again of triple c so that double candidates again then there is lakmo kwetu 
of DOP in Lupane, that is uh, at the close uh, of the nomination court, uh, those who had successfully filed their papers are Prince Dubego Sivanda of Triple C was recalled by Chabangu and Judith Sivanda of Triple C was seconded by Chabangu. They will be contesting against Chinega Muchimba uh, of Sanu PF in Lupane East, David Nyati of Triple C. Uh, who was seconded by Chabangu, will contest against Pride Vanya Moyo, who was recalled by Chabangu, both of them representing Triple C, Wild Patisiwe Machangu of Zanu PF, will be fighting it out against them. In Mavuku Tafara, that is in Harare, uh, Triple C's recalled former MP uh, Kufa Hagutizwi, will contest against um Scott Sagupanya of Zanu PF, whom he defeated uh, in the August elections. Uh, in Matebele and South, um Bait Bridge West, where Moken Nube was recalled by Chabango. We are told, although we don't have other names, that five candidates successfully filed their papers and Triple C had double candidates with Nube being one of those so this is what we have uh, but we are told that there are some machinations whereby uh, those aligned to Chabang are trying to go to court to block the recalled triple c members from using the party name because they say this is in defiance of a high court ruling they say uh, they were barred from using this because the court was told that these people had been recalled from the party so we are still trying to gather more about this but we'll come back and update you as and when we get the full information uh, around that so this is what we have for you right now regarding this nomination court but we will have a live uh, broadcast uh, at around 12 to 1 uh, so that is between 12 and 1 p.m. We're going to have a live broadcast on this channel whereby we want to solicit your views and discuss this on the way forward for the opposition because uh, we, we all can see that it's not all rosy for Triple C going forward because these pleas uh, are going to affect them heavily. They're going to go to court uh, a number of times to fight for the party name so we want to solicit your views and hear what you think could be the best way forward for the mainstream opposition and the opposition in general uh, in Zimbabwe don't forget to subscribe to this channel share this video and like it